put that boy power in the game. So I mean, Tyson sports. Or if you want to isolate, you can use some dummies. <laughs> What's up guys and girls, this is Glenn here once again with another Rope Rage video. Although it's not just another Rope Rage video, on this occasion it's a bit <laughs> special I'll say. Today we have got my jump rope transformation of four years. Now, I don't have a bunch of transformation, oh my gosh, he has abs now, or oh wow, hashtag booty goals, before and after pictures for you, but stay with me, stay with me, I've got something better. I somehow managed to find a video on my computer that has survived the years of deleting to free up memory space since 2015. So I really wanted to share this video with you guys to talk about the effects that consistent training has had on bringing my skill level to what it is now compared to what it was four f***ing years ago. <laughs> so without further ado, I'm going to hand over to this poorly placed camera with <laughs> incredibly bad lighting and also before I go do feel free to drop a comment down below if you spot something that I fail to mention I'm more than happy to have that discussion down in the comments there may be something that I've missed while analyzing the posture the jumping mechanics the technique here thanks again I appreciate your time enjoy the video So I don't know if I was just having a really bad day here or if it was the middle of the English winter and I was just miserable, but I'm way too sluggish here compared to training now. So the main takeaway I'd say from this point is try to bring enthusiasm to your training. I must have corrected that along the course of my training and become more engaged with what I was doing. And that's very much reflected in how I train now and it's much more beneficial for me. And yeah, that was a painful, unforgiving whip to the backside that I just took there, which is enough to make a bad day worse, really. Okay, so you know what, I'm gonna cut past me a little bit of slack here because doing a single leg double under isn't the easiest technique. And past me was very much about going for the toughest techniques for me at that time. And so I spent a lot of my time grappling with techniques, trying, you can see the persistence here. And although the way I'm jumping isn't quite correct, I managed to figure it out over the course of time and in the end I was able to nail it. So a pretty good takeaway here will be to stay persistent, keep going and keep trying. Alright, so this point is quite interesting to me because, well, past me felt he was doing really well with his double unders here, but what I can see here is an uneven hand placement. It's not a symmetrical placement of my hands. And what this means is I'm not getting an even arc 
in my rope as it rotates. I'm not getting an even output of energy through the rope. So although I'm putting these double unders through, the technique isn't quite correct. So the takeaway here is to make sure we don't let the fundamental slip, even though we think we're going really well with a certain technique and we may be landing it. Just be mindful of the fundamentals because they matter over time. you for checking out this video i hope it was beneficial for you right now we're just going to crack into a few clips of present day me let's say and look at the comparison of the skill level i've been able to reach here compared to what i was in 2015 i'm by no means the finished product there's still a lot more development in store for me i know that but i do think it's beneficial to take stock and to look at how far we've come so I'm going to let these clips run now. I appreciate you once again taking the time out of your day to check out this video. If you enjoyed it and if you see yourself checking out more videos like these in future, do feel free to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you're updated when the latest videos drop. If you like the video, please do hit that like button. And as I said before, if there are any comments you've got on this, any techniques, any flaws that you can see, feel free to start that discussion in the comments. Look, I'm not fussed at all about discussing shortcomings and failings because I'm failing every day with my training in order to get better. And I hope you guys are as well. That is the way to progress. So once again, thanks for your time. And until next time, all the best with your training and stay raging. It may take four years of raging to get to a decent level, but even then, don't stop. You just gotta continue, carry on, carry on pressing. Okay, I'm getting excited now. But everything I've said is true. Don't plateau, only go further. I think Bruce Lee said that. I don't wanna misquote Bruce Lee, because I'm a big fan of his, but I'm sure it was him. I'm pretty sure that. Keep it up, you've got a bit of an audience. I'll go again? I'll go again. Yeah, again. <laughs> yeah like, oh, ultimate yeah. reach. Uh, subscribe if you don't we have no videos <laughs> subscribe to this video once again subscribe that's it thank and you and subscribe for all the videos that we watch if it's finished we get more videos coming on yeah so subscribe to all of the videos that we watched you must subscribe Press the press button and then you will see all the different kind of buttons you want to press. You can press which one is your favourite one, then you can choose which one is your favourite one. You have to learn and you have to train so you can get big. Yeah. Subscribe! <laughs>